Okay, now let's talk. At St. Savior Schools, Ekoi, what they went to do. Remember, they were actually here, you know, the last time talking about the experience so far at the Council of British International Schools Champions Cup. And, well, they went and they came back with another title again. You will say it's a wonderful one for the kids. And, of course, the school had to give them a rousing welcome when they got to the school from where uh, they from the tournament in the UK and the games about about 70 teams from 17 teams from 12 countries you know they were all there in the UK swimming athletics and football the major event and for St. Xavier's News they were able to clear everything amassing about 490 Boys, points from the event yeah. yeah and you know when you listen to some of the kids talk and all that you had uh, Austin talking about, you know, most of the kids talking about the experience, what they went through, the fact that hard work and training and everything actually uh, put them through, and that was what gave them the medal they won. The tournament uh, officially began on the 10th of April, and they were able to uh, start competing on Monday, and at the end of the day, they came with all the trophies, and they had a nice reception in the schools you have the jazz and the desk all of them taking first and second place overall in swimming competition Hell. yeah we need yeah we, let's let's go on a break now when we come back uh, we'll take reactions uh, from our students of saint Xavier's uh, school We have a long sporting legacy at St. Saviour's School of Koyi, a tradition of excellence, and we regionally perform very, very well. What the Corbis Games gives us is an opportunity to compete against children from other schools in other countries. When we do that, we can measure ourselves and benchmark ourselves against those children. And in the development of our children, it is something that prepares them for the next stage of their journey, be it in the sports arena, be it academics, the resilience, determination that you need to be successful internationally at the sport, on the sports field also helps them with their academic success as well. So the Games is extremely important. We are very proud to have won the Games for four years running and we look to continue to raise our expectations, push the children hard so that they, they do well in the Games, but also they have an opportunity to meet other children from other schools, other diverse cultures, other countries so they get to meet and mix with them off the field as well. It felt amazing because I'm 14 out of 350 children. I'm one of those 14. And it was also tough at the time because the events were quite difficult and because of the weather we had to push ourselves and encourage each other so we could do our best and win the competition. And there was also quite a bit of pressure because we had to defend our title as winning for the fourth time in a row which we accomplished because we did well in our events. I'm very thankful for our coaches. They mostly gave us a lot of success and so did our parents because our parents encouraged us. I don't think it was luck at all because if we hadn't prepared we definitely wouldn't have won. It was sheer determination, determination and we wouldn't have done any well without it. The events I did were 600 meters for and relay for athletics, 50 meters breaststroke for, for swimming, and, and for football I was the goalkeeper. Um, I caught the ball in the final, so we won the football trophy for the first time. It felt amazing and great because after all our hard training, it went to great use because we won. It was mostly our coaches from all the teaching that they had given us and also our parents because they were there to help us, support us and push us further. Sometimes you see them crying. Mr. Amadou, this is too much. I said, it's not too much. No pain, no gain. And they all know this in their head. If you want to win, you must prepare very hard. When the first set went and they won, they saw the rousing welcome they gave to them. It was a challenge to the incoming one. Do you want to be welcomed the way the last set was? They said yes. I said then they walked and you have to walk harder than them because if you were going for the first set, second time, as the defenders, we cannot uh, relax.
Yeah, the 2017 could be games. I mean, the kids were really excited. I mean, listening to the games master, when they tell you something that, look, you have to train very hard, you're going to get an arousal welcome and all that, your mates have done it, you want to do your best to ensure that you're able to do that. Swimming, athletics, football. I just want to see one of these kids someday at the Olympics or even at the Commonwealth Games. Ben Alaya is here. Ben, good morning. Good to have you. Good to be here as mm. always. And uh, it's a delight. Anthony Joshua is fighting <laughs> tomorrow night. <laughs> always on my mind. I've been good. on my mind all week. I've been posting okay. it on Facebook, yeah. on all social media. Everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. I, I think we should root for him. Okay, we're already rooting for him. Yeah, we we are. Are. <laughs> you know what? Who talks squash a little bit now?